Okay, welcome back. Today we want to talk about for loop and how do we use in Python. And we know for loop uh, in programming language we call the uh, iteration, right? We can iterate uh, a specific number or iterate uh, uh, under some condition they will stop iterating, okay? So how do we use that in Python? Uh, it's the things that we want to uh, explore. Okay, in Python, the for loop have a quite interesting way. Uh, so first, let me type a string, for example, name. Okay, uh, hello, okay, a H E L O string, right? Uh, I can Actually, the string is uh, have a s actually internal. You can use an index to to retrieve it. Okay, no, you you need to type like this, right? So a uh, string like a, a sequence of later, right? So here you have a. Uh, index zero, index one, two, three, four. Okay, so you can consider a string as a uh, uh, for some high level language as a kind of array, right? Uh, index H E L L O. Okay, things like this and. Uh, this part of index is zero, one, two, three, okay, etc. Okay, so um, so we can actually uh, use that in our uh, Python. For example, I for I in. Okay, so what is in in Python? Uh, let Let's try it. if H in name, can I do that? Yeah, true. <laughs> so in uh, quite literally uh, means uh, I'm checking if this element inside that uh, structure. Okay, so I can ask uh, the same thing. E in name. Yes. What about a in oh? A, A in name. I type too fast. Sorry. False because hello without A in it. Okay. So for loop use this kind of a strategy. So if I uh, do I okay in name okay together with a for loop. Uh, they will kind of iterate, iterate by retrieving the first one uh, from the z index zero. Okay, so I here will become the become the first element of it. Okay, print I. Okay, so do this. So this is a uh, if you first time you look at this uh, uh, here is the things okay uh, we have a, we have a name sorry I don't like to use this I want to keep it here so we have a name okay and hello. So uh, every time the loop will kind of retrieve, uh, retrieve each element. So the first I will retrieve H. The second time I will retrieve the E. Okay, things like this until the end of the string element. But you don't need to uh, control the index. Okay, so this is a statement, and because the print print here. They printed out 
um, I, and they will put the enter. So each time they retrieve one, they will have a new line. Okay. So that is the uh, first way that we normally use a, a string to kind of iterate a structure. Okay. Particularly in a, uh, in a structure like a, a string. Okay, now I would like to define uh, some a little bit more uh, interesting advanced structure. For example, uh, I'm now using a structure we call a list. Okay, list. I'm going to define uh, uh, some uh, string inside it. Okay, Zhongwen. Zhongwen means Chinese. Okay, uh, English. And okay, for example, those are the three language I'm quite fluently. I speak Chinese, Zhongwen, okay, this part, uh, Chinese, and uh, English, and uh, Taiwanese, okay. Wei Gong Dai Yi, okay, a little bit Taiwanese. So those are the structure of the language, okay. So now I would like to use the same mechanism name or oh, not name in list structure U A G S okay colon print I okay and what happened? Language is not defined. Oh, yeah, there's something wrong. Uh, L A N G. <laughs> Are a typo. L A N G. Uh, U A G E, right? Language. Okay. Here is a typo. Uh, this is A U, this is a U A. <laughs> Sorry about that. No wonder they cannot find this. Okay, I need to change, change one, um, which one? Uh, okay, I need to retype everything. L A N G A U G E, right? Yeah, L A N G. So this one is correct, but this one. A U G E. Okay. Print. I can speak. For example, I. Yeah, I can speak Zhongwen. I can speak English. I can speak Taiwanese. Taiyu. Okay, so you can iterate a string, you can iterate a structure, okay, you put into the list. Actually, you can, uh, uh, you can uh, use a set, another, another type of the structure pretty similar to list, or a dictionary, or tuple. Uh, they all support in this kind of full structure. Uh, mm, so what else can I do this test? Mm, okay, four. Uh, what about I would like to count the language, the number of the language I would like to do? Okay, uh, maybe I add count initialize as a zero for I E. Languages print. I can speak. Speak I. Okay, now I would like to uh, kind of count it. So whenever I speak one, I count one time. Okay, so I do this. I do it. 
to this and uh, I put a <coughs> excuse me actually <coughs> in for loop normally uh, we use a for loop uh, block structure but Python's for loop can allow us to use else means that after the end of the iteration <coughs> they can do the else part so let's see uh, I speak count languages okay let's try this yeah, this is uh, what I exactly want. Okay, so uh, the the structure I have is uh, here, right? Yes, and uh, one thing, one thing. Okay, quite interesting I initialize my counter okay but initialize in the beginning as a zero and inside the structure uh, the first element is Zhongwen so I the first time it takes us a Zhongwen so they print it out I speak Zhongwen and then they do this right count uh, plus one and uh, store back to the count so now the count is one right so the second time uh, uh, they will retrieve I as English okay the count uh, they print out I can speak English and the count become two right and then third time Taiwanese the count becomes three okay right and then there's no there's no other uh, language I can speak so because uh, in this list uh, they only have a three element right so they cannot retrieve so this condition this condition will become false false okay they will do the else part okay they will run this okay in the final okay so that's it that is the basic logic okay uh, yeah this is quite quite special in the for in the Python uh, mostly we use this but if you like you can you can do something uh, at the end of the uh, iteration okay so that's uh, that's it i hope that you you try on your own right you can type the, your favorite fruit or favorite game or anything you want to compute computer to calculate automatically for example uh, i feel like uh, type something uh, input mm, mp okay input mp please type anything please type something okay something anything is fine okay so uh, so for example I type uh, Python is fun and interesting powerful okay things like this so everything I type will be stored into the IMP this variable okay so count studied zero for I in IMP I do I do what maybe I just want to t just to count how many words I I type right so I can do this 
without printing anything, okay, and even without without print out the else part because uh, eventually uh, I can do this print uh, the total total uh, num uh, you type you type uh, count letters okay <coughs> in your input okay here you go you you know what I meant I want to count the letter uh, include the space I type in our previous input okay wow I type uh, 36 is that that many one two three four five three eleven yeah, this is about a ten. This is another, but another ten. This is another ten. Yeah, I kind of trust my code. Okay, so you can, for example, use this uh, simple logic to do uh, a lot of things: count the whole document, count a structure of the things, kind of routine, right? This is a computer pretty good at. Okay, it is how we can use in the Python. One last thing that uh, in the Python programming, uh, they if you want to generate a specific number, maybe you want to loop it ten times or 30, 30 times or nine times, uh, we would uh, normally use a function called call range, okay, and give a number. For example, range ten, okay, they will create a range from zero till ten, but not including 10 so actually from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 without 10 so from 0 to 9 uh, over all together 10 elements okay so this is actually uh, stored in a in a way a little bit like a list but yeah they they call the, the type called a range so you can you can use this one. This zero in range ten. Yes, true. One. Three point five. No. Okay. False. Okay. It's not a numbers of range. It's an element. It's an element in this set. Okay. So what about ten in range ten? No, okay, false. Okay, so for this kind of things, we can create a specific amount. For example, uh, I uh, in range 10 from 0 to 9, 10 times. Oops, what happened? Oh, syntax error expected. Uh, <laughs> I forgot this, right? Two dot. Okay, two dot. Uh, column right okay so I retype it again let's print something interesting shall we star yeah I print start okay 10 start can I print something like this print Star, star, pi. Okay. You probably confuse what I'm doing, but let's see the result, okay? <laughs> Happy Christmas, okay. No, that's just half of the Christmas tree, but you got the idea what I'm doing. Is something the first time iterate I print I print just one just one okay the second time I print twice third time four four so every time I I will use a special time uh, kind of concatenate with the star 
So the tricky part is is star star i. So what does this mean? Okay, star is is string. Okay, when string times a number, okay, in Python they just means a repeating. Okay, they will they will kind of create uh, this amount. So in this case, if a string times phi, uh, which means they will they will generate this <laughs> phi time. So you got an idea. So this is a why I can create this kind of shape because the first time do the the string become this, the second time, the third time, okay, things like this. Okay, so you can try this. Okay, on your own. Shall we? So this is about the iteration for loop in Python. Yeah, maybe you will find something interesting uh, to use Python. Very, very easy, very powerful. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.